up everybody and today I'm excited to review Sora Dej Dameron Gym with the one FC legend. We're gonna learn a lot here. I'm excited to see what he's got. He's training a youngster in the back and we're about to get to it. Super, super excited to check out this gym because not only is Crew Rong a Lumpini champion, he was also Thailand's first MMA champion. And adapting traditional Thai Muay Thai to MMA is not an easy thing to do. I've tried to do this myself, and he was the pioneer in this. And I've actually used his style and his modified Muay Thai clinch in my own training when it comes to dealing with wrestlers. And despite the fact that he was such a beast in his fight days, the guy couldn't be nicer. Love the experience. I had a few moments before class to scope everything out. He's got a good variety of traditional training equipment, modern training equipment. He's got um, a really good solid variety of bags. These Fairtex ones are high quality. The floor padding is high quality. The ring itself has nice padding, which is great in case you get swept. The gym is located in Katu, which is smack dab in the center of the island. If you have a motorbike or access to a car, this is great considering that you can reach it from just about any other place in the island within 15 to 25 minutes. This is also a convenient area of the island if you're into shopping, plus you're right next to Ali's Barbecue. If you've been around Phuket for a while, you know that place is solid. So regardless of where you're staying on the island, this is not a bad place to come and train. It's going to be a close enough drive for you. Classes take place twice a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, both two hours in length, and they're not messing around, so make sure you're in shape before you come to show up. For warm-ups, expect to do some jump rope or some footwork drills to get your body nice and hot before you move on to stretching. Stretching is guided with the teacher, it goes over the whole body pretty well, get you nice and limber for more difficult workouts, and then you're gonna move to shadow boxing. People People generally do shadow boxing at their own pace, but I was lucky enough to get some extra attention from Crew Rong. He wanted to go over the basic movements and weapons and everything to make sure that I knew what I was doing, and he wanted to gauge where my level was at. And in the process, I learned a lot of sweet new tricks. Um, just, it's amazing the knowledge this guy has. And the attention that he showed me was incredible and definitely made me want to come back for another class. I could probably make five more videos about all the things that I learned from him, but needless to say, in the span of something like 10, 15 minutes, he cleaned up a lot of my techniques regarding knees, elbows, and taught me the subtle differences of when to grab, when to step in, when to switch, when to step in, a lot of good distance management stuff and a lot of ways of keeping yourself safe when you're attacking and a way of keeping yourself safe just defensively and coming back with counters. It was just amazing what you can learn from a true master in no time flat. After he cleaned up the basics, he taught me a series of some more advanced moves that uh, who knows if I could actually pull off in a real fight, but they're sweet to practice. And if I could get them down, it would be quite devastating. After some shadow boxing, we did a few rounds of bag work and he stayed there right by my side to make sure that I was using all my techniques with purpose. I wasn't throwing useless teeps, I wasn't throwing useless knees, I was making sure to stab them all in properly. He didn't want to see any lazy attacks, which you can get in the habit of throwing lazy attacks and it's not the right way to do it. So he wants everything coming in with purpose, with confidence, and of course, with balance. Got a few rounds on the bag on my own as well. Just try to keep things flowing, keep all those good habits up that he was teaching me. And um, I gotta admit, I'm pretty out of shape, so trying to throw hard kicks and hard teeps and hard knees over and over is exhausting if you're not used to it, so stay in shape. <laughs> Wouldn't be Muay Thai without some pad sessions. I personally think pad holding is the funnest and most valuable part of Muay Thai, and no surprise here, his pad holding is superb. 
He was very good about not only breaking down the details when I needed it, but also holding me accountable defensively, tagging me with counters whenever I was open, making sure that I was at the right place at the right time, making sure my timing is correct, and all that sort of stuff. Now, you might not be able to tell in the video, but when he throws these pads and kicks back at me as a counter, there is so little telegraph in his movement that um, I just really couldn't do anything about it. So if I could get used to his style of pad holding, I know it would make me a much better fighter. So I'll let you watch for a little bit just to get a feel for what it looks like. After our pad rounds, Crew Wrong brought over one of his fighters to do a little bit of technique drilling with me, which eventually turned into sparring. Now, naturally, Thai style, it was nice and controlled, nice and fun, at a pace where no one's getting hurt, and it's just good times across the board. I want to wrap up this video by telling you the things that really stood out to me about this gym and who I think this gym would be a good fit for. Something you may not be aware of is that there are different types of gyms in Thailand. Some are catered to fitness, some are catered to fighting, some are catered to foreigners, some are catered to Thais. This gym is a fighter's gym catered to Thais. Now there are some foreigners, but it's mostly Thais. And if you can keep up with the difficult workouts, it creates a really good vibe and the best possible training environment you could imagine. Now, if you are a beginner, I wouldn't be discouraged. The trainers here are patient enough and friendly enough that I don't think you have anything to worry about if you come here as a first timer, but the level is extremely high, true world-class training, and I can't imagine a better place to improve yourself if your goal is to be an efficient fighter. If you're the type of person like me that thrives on self-improvement and you want to be the best version of yourself, this is the place to go. If I had to rank it out of five stars, I would give it about eight stars. That's no joke and I plan on being back. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to check them out.